Hello everyone, this is RJ and I want to thank you for joining us once more for it's time to read through the scripture and also pray for this nation. Uh, it is another week that we are starting and we are in need of desperate prayer. And yes, as we look into what's happening right now uh, in our nation, uh, it is easy for us to lose patience. And that's the reason why we need to look beyond what is happening now. We need to look onto the changes that might be happening and the changes that we look forward to have. But we also have to look forward to that time when we enter into uh, the eternal kingdom, and especially the time when we are in front of our Lord face to face. And maybe asking some questions, but you might also be asked, what have you done during that time? And I hope that we'll be able to say, I patiently waited and prayed for your will to be done. And as I was praying, and as I was uh, asking for your spirit to come, I tried my best on how you led me. Because in today's scripture, we see that we need to look what is beyond our situation. Say it says from James chapter 5, verse 7 and 8, Therefore, brothers and sisters, you must be patient as you wait for the coming of the Lord. Consider the farmer who waits patiently for the coming of rain in the fall and spring, looking forward to the precious fruit of the earth. You also must wait patiently, strengthening your resolve because the coming of the Lord is near. And all that we do, all that we cry out for, all that we pray, yes, it is to see a change in this world. But ultimately, we are preparing and we are waiting for our Lord to come. And when that day comes, when that glorious moment arrives, I would love to say, Lord, I prayed and I waited for that day, this day, and I waited for this moment. And that's like the end of the, that's like the crop and the fruit that comes in the end of the harvest. And as we look forward and have our eyes fixed onto that goal, I hope and I pray that it will be uh, something that helps us and encourage us to continue to be patient. Because we do need a lot of patience and we do need a lot of prayer. So join me in this time as we pray together. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this time that we can come we can start our week or even pause during this week just to remember your faithfulness, remember your promise, and remember that you are the Lord who will come again. And until that day comes, and as we fix our eyes onto that day, Lord, we ask that you will uh, give us the patience for us to continue to focus on your ways, for us to fix our eyes onto the goal, for us to continue to pray and practice our faith in this hurting world. So be with us as we pray. Now I'd like to invite you to pray with me a prayer to fix our eyes onto the Lord and also a prayer to ask God what we can do as we intercede for this hurting, suffering nation. So let us pray together. Join me in the time of prayer.
Please join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. A Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever. This virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, would place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope and trust in you in the days ahead and forever we offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue to pray the prayer that our Lord had taught us. Our, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you once more for joining me in this time to as we pray together. Uh, someone had sent me a message and said that I should uh, encourage everyone to share and click like. <laughs> uh, so more people can be able to see this video. So if you are willing to do that, please um, uh, press a like button and also share this content so people can continue to pray. I hope you have a great one. Uh, please continue to pray for this nation. And, and I hope that you'll join us tomorrow as we uh, go through the final uh, Bible reading of patience as one of the fruit of the Spirit. And we will continue to pray. So have a great one and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.